Old Norse Wisdom and the Voice of the Old West. The Cowboy Hovamal is my translation of the first 77 or so stanzas of Hovamal, the poem in the poetic Edda that contains the wisdom of Odin, into the voice of my grandfather. This tribute to my grandfather and to the other men who made the West what it is today is included in my translation of the poetic Edda. Use your eyes and never walk blind. There ain't no telling where there's someone waiting to put one over on you. Don't be unkind to a wanderer. You know the type. Waiting, proud, outside your doorstep. Give him a break and let him in. Let him get close to the fire and have a chance to dry his clothes. He's been walking in the mountains and that wears a man down. You know what he's looking for. Some clothes to change into. A few kind words, not too many. A chance to tell his story. A chance to hear what you'll say. You ought to have a damn sight of learning before you step outside that door. It's a lot easier to stay at home, but no one will listen to you if you stay there. Now that ain't to say that you ought to be showy about your learning. Don't say too much, and you'll say more of the right things. And don't ever think that other folks have nothing to teach you either. You only stand to gain by keeping your ears open too. People's approval ain't nothing you need. Half the time it ain't true. Just be sure you think you're right, and that you're comfortable in your own skin. You're all you can count on. And while you should listen to people's advice, don't just do whatever they say. You've got a head on your own shoulders. Use it, boy. That head on your shoulders is the best thing you'll ever have, and no amount of money can make up for not having it. Keep it in good shape. The worst way to make yourself into a goddamn fool is to drink too much. Stay out of the liquor, except you know your limits. Oh, folks will say this and that, how much fun it is to drink and all, but the more you drink, the less you know, and that's a poor exchange. I've been drunk, I'm not saying otherwise. Let me tell you what it's like. It's as if a bird hovered over your head, drinking more of your wits, the more you drink. Lord almighty, I was drunk. I was shamefaced drunk, and I didn't have myself near as good a time as if I'd gone home sober. Just keep quiet, keep your head clear, and don't back off from a fight. You'll be happier that way, and you'll die soon enough. You're a goddamn fool if you think you'll live forever, just because you won't fight. Say nobody ever kills you. Old age is no peach either. I'll say another thing about drinking. I swear I'm nearly done. But just you think how much dumber a dumb man is after a few drinks. Who ever heard more awful bullshit? Travel, see the country, never miss a chance to get outdoors. You only get smarter. By knowing more people, more places, more ways to be a man. Accept hospitality, but don't be a jackass. Folk can only offer so much. And if you want to talk, just consider whether what you want to say matters to anybody else. A belly is a sure sign that a man's not in control of himself. Folks will laugh if you're eating too much. Your stomach's not your head. You can put too much in it. You ever seen a fat cow? I mean, they're all fat, but only to a point. They don't eat so much they hurt themselves. And a cow is just about the dumbest thing on this damn earth. Nothing to learn from a fella who won't but laugh at everybody else. What he ain't learned would do him some good. He's got his own faults. You should lie down to sleep and not think about tomorrow. You'll take care of it then. If you worry at night, you get nothing done, and you're in worse shape for the day. Not everybody who laughs with you is your friend. Someone who won't but laugh hasn't thought about much. Not everybody who laughs with you is your friend. It's one thing if a fellow will laugh with you. It's another if you can count on him. You're a damn fool if you think you can just figure out a way out of any problem. It's good to think ahead, but sometimes things go wrong. I wish more damn fools would just keep their mouths shut. If they did, we might not realize just how many goddamn fools there are in this old world. Ain't ever been a single person who can keep his mouth shut when it comes to other people. But try not to gossip, even if it makes you look smarter. You will talk yourself into trouble if you don't think before you speak. Hold that tongue and think a little, or you'll find out that it's a long quip and it's going to hit you from behind. Don't make fun of someone else, even if he owes you money. And don't pester people with questions. Sarcastic people sound smart when they make fun of someone else. But making fun doesn't make you smart, and that's time you could be putting into something more worthwhile. A fellow might be nice enough, there's still something that'll make him want to fight. Where there's more than one man, you'll eventually have a fight. You shouldn't sit around and wait to eat all day. Go ahead and eat, unless you're eating later with a friend. Otherwise, you'll just be useless. Don't concern yourself with anybody who won't repay your friendship in kind. 
Better to walk a long way to a friend than a short way to some ornery jackass. Don't overstay your welcome. Folks like company, but not too much, and start to resent a guest for long. So get going after a while, or you'll get on people's nerves. It doesn't matter where you live, long as you have a roof over you. Better to call someplace home, even if it ain't much to look at, than to beg for everything. It doesn't matter where you live, long as you have a place. Better to call a place home, or you'll feel worse and worse as you beg for more and more. Keep your guns close. I don't care what they say. There ain't no telling when there'll be a call for them. An armed man has a shot. Don't think a generous host wouldn't gladly take something in return for your room and board. Never seen a man so nice that he wouldn't like a little in return. Don't save so much money that you don't use any of it. You'll die after all, and it might not go to people you like. The world ain't aiming to please you. Give your friend a gift that'll matter to him. Weapons, clothes, you know the kind. This kind of giving, if he gets you back, will mean he'll have your back when it counts. Be friendly to anybody friendly to you, and repay their gifts. Repay good with good, and bad with bad. Be friendly to anybody friendly to you, and to his friends too. But be careful not to make friends with your friend's enemies. If you have a good friend, and really trust him, you should share your mind with him, exchange gifts with him, visit him often. If you have another friend, and don't trust him worth a spit, but want something from him, speak kindly, but don't be surprised if you find yourself betraying that kindness. Now this fellow you don't trust, that's not to say you shouldn't talk to him, laugh with him even. Hell, who can you trust? But repay him just what he gives you. I was young once, I walked alone, and I got lost on my way. It wasn't alone that I found happiness, but in good company, good friends, there's no joy in loneliness. Be friendly, be brave if you're challenged, and don't nurture a grudge for too long. That's the way to spend your life, not on worrying, not on shirking your responsibilities. Once I was walking, I saw two scarecrows, and that gave me the damnedest funny thought. They were naked, so I'd give them clothes. They looked a damn sight better in them, too. A naked man just feels ashamed of himself. Think about a pine on the edge of town. Once a part of the forest, but the forest is gone, and now it's surrounded by pasture. Puts me in mind of a man no one loves. What's he got to live for? You might think you have a new friend, but just you wait five days, that'll test him. They say that a bad friendship burns for only five days, but on the sixth one it goes out. You may not have much, so don't give much, but I have one friend that's just a bowl of soup and half a loaf of bread. A small ocean has small beaches, and small brains have damn little to give, but the world takes all types. Don't get too goddamn smart now, there's a measure for everything, and don't think it's for nothing that the stupid people are the happier ones too. Don't get too goddamn smart now, there's a measure for everything, You'll know you've gone too far when you can't find a thing to smile about. That's what wisdom's like. Don't get too goddamn smart now. There's a measure for everything. And if you think you can learn the future, you're a damn fool, not a wise man. You'll be happier not knowing anyway. Don't sleep too late. There's no way to get things done. If you mean to do business, get going. A lazy wolf never caught a sheep. A sleeping man never earned a dime. Don't sleep too late. There's no way to get things done. If you're still sleeping at sunrise, you're losing the race already. Someone's got more hours than you. You know how to measure wood and bark for a roof, and you know the way to tell the time and determine the seasons. You know this stuff, son. Don't go to see folks with your hair a mess and your clothes dirty. Put a damn shirt on and some shoes. There's no shame in not having the best, and eat a little first, too. Consider your reputation. If you go to town and know nobody, and nobody has a whit to say about you, You'll be like an eagle stretching out its beak, but never catching a fish. Now here's a fact I've learned. Tell a secret to one good friend, and that secret might stay with him. But tell two people your secret, and everybody will know pretty soon. Don't think you're the goddamn smartest, or the toughest, or the best at anything. And don't let folks think you are either. Otherwise, you'll find out the hard way that someone is always better. Watch what you say, son. What you say to other people is often exactly what you get from them. There's being too early, there's being too late, and you can't always predict folks diamond, but try to be on time, that wins you more favor. People ain't always sincere when they say they'll give you something. You don't know it for a fact till it's in your hands. Don't take anybody at just his word. A warm home is good for you, the sunshine is good for you, and your health too, of course. But don't underestimate how good it is to live without things to say sorry for. You can never lose everything, even if your health looks to give out any minute. 
You might still have your kids, your family, your money, or something else. Or better, a job well done. Better to be alive no matter what than dead. Only to live and enjoy anything. I've seen a rich man's corpse. It wasn't different than a poor man's. Break your leg? You can ride a horse still. Lost a hand? Not your voice too, I reckon. Can't hear? Bet you can still fight. There ain't a damn way any shot at life is worse than empty death. It's good to have a son, or someone you can call that. There ain't too many men remembered, except those that's left family behind. If two fight against one, two will probably win. And again, son, watch your damn tongue. And never trust that what folks keep hidden from you is for your own good. The weather can change a lot in five days. It can change even more in a month. And you're a fool if you think you can predict it. Never trust anything. It's not in your own power. I've said you should listen, but don't listen to goddamn idiots. And remember, you might be poor, someone else might be rich, and neither of you has the other to blame. Cows die, friends and family die, you will die just the same way. But if you have a good reputation, that might survive you. Cows die, friends and family die, you will die just the same way. The only thing that won't die is what folks say about you when you're dead. I saw a rich man's sons. They had a good many head of cattle. Now they're beggars in the street. Wealth's nothing to count on. It'll leave you as soon as it finds you. Now a good thing may happen to a pretty stupid man, but that doesn't make him any better. He'll be just as arrogant and not any smarter. Don't sing the praises of anything before it's over. Not the days before the night, not the works before the end, not the man's before his death. For now, with the coyotes howling in the distance, I will wish you all the best from the wilds of the American West.